Bro, how are Italians so skinny then? Like, in general, Italians are small. Like, you guys are fit. Yo, what's happening, people? It's your boy, Peerly9, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's still a reaction video, but we're not doing a music video or anything like that. We are reacting to how to be Italian. 20 rules Italians never break. I'll link the original video in the description box down below. I think this is one of the Italian videos that I could find that had like quite a lot of views and quite popular. So yeah, I thought I'll react to this one and just find a little bit more about the Italian culture from an Italian themselves. It's, it's no secret that a lot of the followers and subscribers to my channel are Italian. So I've got a big Italian core base over on, on, on this channel. Yeah, man, why not? If you want me to do any other countries, let me know in the comment section down below. And if there's any other videos to do with like the Italian culture or, or something interesting, also let me know. And I will be doing reactions to other kind of videos apart from music videos. Um, I'm going to expand out a little bit. Of course, if you've been watching my videos since I've re-uploaded again, I'm over on Twitch now, twitch.tv forward slash purely nine. Go and follow and yeah music videos, just chatting, gameplay, and then reaction videos to just random stuff that you want me to react to. So let's get into it. Ah, mamma mia. Shout out Italy to is probably the most admired and slagged country at the same time. People love Italians and Italian culture, and they are secretly jealous of us but they also make fun of us a lot. Italians are world famous for being loud, being very kissy and passionate and moving their hands a lot, for driving like crazy and for not respecting rules, including the law sometimes. So Italians are rule breakers, is, is this generally true? In fact, actually one of my lecturers at, at uni is Italian. I, I didn't do an Italian based subject, but one of my business uh, module uh, lecturers and he was very, very flamboyant. I have really strong Italian accent. I, I don't know whereabouts in Italy he was from, but a really strong Italian accent. And it was sometimes hard to follow. But yeah, great guy. I done well in that module. And he was actually always late. So that's one of the things that I know just from him, just from a direct relationship to one of my lecturers who was Italian, that he was always late, very flamboyant, very passionate. Um, so these are the general assumptions I have of Italian people anyway. So. So let me know if, if, if I'm on, if I have the right, you know, if I'm on the right ballpark or anything. Set of rules Italians will always obey to. This are the 20 rules Italians will never break. Let's start with greetings, because these are very, very important in Italian culture. We're very affectionate, we're very passionate, and we tend to kiss even people who we'd never met before. Now, there's a very specific rule for the cheek kissing, which is always start on the right. Two kisses in some region of Italy. Ciao, 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 bello, mwah, mwah. And three kisses in other regions of Italy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. In Italy, there's nothing like filter coffee or Americano. Italians have espresso. Wait, 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 wait. He just, he just went from greeting people to coffees. Is that, is that? Is this the same rule? This is in other is regions of Italy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. In Italy, there's nothing like filter coffee or Americano. Italians have espresso, literally drunk within 30 seconds. Yeah. Done, and I'm out. It can be a corto or ristretto, which is basically like even shorter than an espresso. So there's no Americanos at all in Italy. There must be. You must be able to go to a coffee shop and get an Americano. Just because the espresso is the, the, the most favorite, surely there's other coffees that you can drink. Um, I have generally a black coffee, so uh, an Americano. Um, but I have, I have had an espresso from time to time, very strong coffee. Um, but I do like to, I, I do like to drink uh, quite slowly and, and enjoy my coffee. So. It's also up to here, or a lungo, which is basically like a little bit longer. If you're asking for a latte in an Italian cafe, you will get this. Because latte in Italian means milk. Oh! Cappuccino is... Oh really? Latte just means milk, just straight up. That's the direct translation. So is there any coffee that resembles a latte in Italy? Is it like a latte espresso or something? Is that the name? Um, I'm not really, I used to drink lattes back in uni, but I'm not really a latte drink. I'm just straight black coffee. 
be socially acceptable only at breakfast. It is however acceptable to ask for a macchiato. A macchiato is actually an espresso with a little bit of milk foam and you can ask for a macchiato caldo which is hot milk foam or a macchiato freddo which is a cold milk foam. Very Fair complicated. Enough. When toasting, all... Yeah, all these coffees I've heard of by the way, like we have them in the UK in like Starbucks or Costa. So. Always, always look at people in the eye. Eye contact, it's really important. And good Italian wine is very important too. Let's talk fashion for a second. The number one rule that you should probably never forget if you visit Italy is do not, under any circumstance, wear white socks. Stand back! No! Bro, white socks and sandals, that's, that's my look. Um, nah, it's just comfort and... Uh... In general, white socks go with everything, especially shorts. White, you can't wear black socks and shorts, bro. No way. It has to be white socks. Um, anything else, if you're wearing trousers or anything, then yeah, make, make sure you're wearing like a darker pair of socks, black, grey, navy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with white socks. So I, I, I don't know why you can't wear black, white socks, man. Like, if you're, if you're doing sports or whatever, then white socks is the way. It's a sports look. Italians believe in the concept of food separation. We don't place it all in one. Oh, so that was it, just don't wear white socks. There was no elaboration on that. <laughs> How can you not elaborate on that? What? Like, there's time and a place when you can wear white socks and indoors whilst you're chilling out. They're very comfortable. Like, <laughs> I'm very protective over my white socks. In the concept of food separation, we don't place it all in one plate. Which is why buffet don't really work in Italy. So you Makes always sense. start with antipasto, which is basically the appetizer. Then you move on to a primo, which is your entree, if you want. Then you move on to a secondo, which literally means second. And, and that's like your main dish, really. Then you move on to dolce, which literally means... Bro, how are Italians so skinny then? Like, in general, Italians are small. Like, you guys are fit like, and healthy in general. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just what I've been told or what I've been told or what I just see. But, like, you come to the UK, there's parts of the UK that, that, that are hefters uh, and, and America as well. So, um, I don't know, man. Uh, you eat so many meals a day, but... It, well, you eat so many courses during one meal. How, how are you... I mean, portion sizes must be tiny. It means dessert. And that's how you proceed. But that sort of makes sense. Like appetizers slash starters, we do that. We do that. And then your main meal and then desserts. Sometimes you can have a main meal with a side, but it looks like you have like two main meals. If I was going out, I wouldn't have pasta and steak. I would either have steak with, with like chips or a salad. Um, or, or I'd have um, just pasta with maybe some garlic bread or some kind of bread side. Um, but yeah, we don't usually have like a pasta and a steak. I don't know if that was just for example, but yeah. Different meats should not be mixing in the stomach. If you start with chicken, you cannot go to beef. If you start with beef, you cannot go to lamb. That makes sense. But what about like chicken and chorizo? Hmm. Breaking news, bread is not an appetizer. It will be there for the entire duration of the meal and yeah. you will not get butter or olive oil or balsamic with it. Plain, amazing, lovely Italian bread on your table. I feel like because I am European and I'm from the UK, there's very similar trends and this is more probably directed to the American audience. In general, like it's very, very, very similar. It's weird because we don't get served bread with balsamic vinegar or oil but i'll go into places in europe you have like literally olive oil served with with bread and i don't really touch that i'll have the bread and stuff very similar to to the way i live and the way i believe the uk culture is apart from the white socks now let's talk spaghetti for a second italians do not and i repeat do not eat spaghetti with meatballs that's an american slash disney invention from lady and the tramp but initially we have them with... Yeah, I mean, like, again, we don't really have spaghetti and meatballs here. Definitely no people have that. And I definitely know there's restaurants that serve it. But, you know, that's not something I, I would have personally. A range of different sauces, including ragu, which is quite close to meatballs, but 
It's actually not. We do eat meatballs, but not with spaghetti. Another American invention. Is, is, is ragu, I'm gonna have to Google this. Is ragu like, like a tomato based sauce? I think it is, right? We do eat meatballs, but not with spaghetti. Do not mess with Italian pizza. Do not expect chicken on pizza or crazy okay. sausages or crazy pineapples of fruit. You're not gonna be finding it there. There are only two types of pizza crust. Napolitan means that it's kind of raised and it's more fluffy, while Roman is quite crusty. Don't shoot me, but I am not actually the biggest fan of, of pizza. Like I can definitely eat it. If there's a slice of pizza going, I'll have pizza, but I know a lot of people, especially in the UK, love pizza. Like people go absolutely bananas for it. If you was to ask me, what my favorite pizza is it probably would just be a margarita like an italian margarita in the uk an italian based margarita is just like a flat bread like what he just said um, but we just call it an italian based pizza maybe i need to go italy and try pizza from italy and maybe my opinion will change a bit more on on, on pizza that being said, I might do a reaction to me trying like Italian sweets or Italian food. Let me know down in the comments and I'll order that stuff. If people can hit me up on, on Instagram, I would definitely do that. So let me know. It will be only served with extra virgin olive oil, vinegar, balsamic. Salad is supposed to be healthy and simple. Italians are a bit hygiene free. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I know you, like, you have like Caesar, Caesar and stuff, but... Um, again, like I have balsamic vinegar, vinegar with, with salad and, and that's it really. I don't really have extra virgin olive oil with salad. Like I'll use that when cooking, but that's it. Salad is supposed to be healthy and simple. Italians are a bit hygiene freak. They believe that if they don't wash everything of their body and hands and everything at any given time, they will be contaminated by some strange extraterrestrial bacteria. There's one thing we're actually quite anal about, the B-Day. <gasps> that's actually... A bit of a play on work there. After we always, always, always use the B day. I mean, it makes sense. It really does. Like, it really, really does. But it's just not a thing in the UK. And it makes sense than, than just using tissue. A lot of people in the UK use baby wipes. Forgive my ignorance, but I don't know if, if you have baby wipes. But if you don't know what baby wipes are, they're basically a wet tissue and they come in packets. I don't want to go into too much detail, let's just carry on, but yeah. For some strange genetic reasons, Italians are very, very sensitive to temperature change. Also, Italian women are not allowed to walk in public with wet hair. Why? Because they might catch a cold. Is that really true? Like, if they want to, they, like, how many women walk in public with wet hair anyway? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not something you see on a day-to-day -day basis. Italians are also obsessed with the draft. Having a draft at a restaurant is like the worst possible nightmare. They will carefully select the table based on the luck of draft. Digestion is probably the most important process of your human body, which is why Italians normally after a meal, they never ever ever expose themselves to cold, temperature because that will block their digestive system. We even have a whole range of alcoholic beverages aiming at helping you digest, which is basically an excuse to drink more after a big meal. And these are called- Well, like licorice. It makes sense though. It make makes sense why you guys are so tiny then, because if your body is able to digest the, and break down the foods that you're eating correctly, essentially cleaning out your body, yeah, you're not, not carrying any excess weight called digestivi. So when you're a kid and you go to the beach with your parents, you're actually taught that you are not supposed to swim for two or three hours after a meal because you could get congestion and die in the sea. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't even do anything after eating really, but um, like I work out. So I've always known that you should like eat like half hour before working out. So like eat, give your body half hour to digest it and then work out uh, and then you should have like the efficient energy so i suppose it's what you're eating um but it's it's probably a good thing not to swim for two or three hours after after eating because you, you can make your tummy turn but um yeah i don't really swim often anyway <laughs> it's very traumatizing and these are the 20 rules italians will never break yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, man, 20 rules that Italians never break. Um, let me know if how true that is and, and let me know what other Italian culture uh, videos I should react to. This video has gone on for a very long time. I didn't expect it to go on for this long, but it went quick. I enjoyed it. Um,
very interesting to see. I think there's a lot of similarities between the UK culture and the Italian culture. Um, obviously, there's differences as well, but that is what it is. Um, but yeah, man, I enjoyed that video. Shout out to Marco in the box, is it? I'll leave his link in the description down below, so make sure you give him a thumbs up. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what I should react to next. And if you want me to react to like Italian food, sweets, let me know what kind of sweets I should eat so I can order them. And someone hit me up on Instagram letting me know what I should eat. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more of this stuff, make sure you follow, subscribe, go over to my Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And make sure you follow my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash peerly9. Um, yeah, man. And I'm out. Peace.